We are here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium for the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. This is day six of seven scheduled days of action. And here in Tokyo, it's been the hotbed of competition. And for this particular game right here, one will finally break into that win column. It's a battle between Kazakhstan and the Dominican Republic. For the Dominican Republic, they're coming off a 3-0 loss to Japan. They have lost all of their five matches and they're at the bottom of your standings just like Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan lost to Thailand in their last outing yesterday in three straight sets. The Netherlands, Korea, Italy, those are our top three so far. And this, if this were true all the way to the end, then it would be Japan that will advance to the Olympics. But Thailand just won a thrilling five-setter against Korea earlier. And that will still give them a hope here in the Olympics. Peru is next in line in our team standings. But really, if you put all of that together with the win, Korea really is on uh, top with four wins, two losses. Fendrikova and the rest of them will be the players for Coach Shapran Vacheslav of Kazakhstan. Look out for Stanova, who's the best scorer for Kazakhstan. Sure, there's Beresneva also, a really tough spiker. Anikonova, who's one of the best blockers here in the top 10 in the tournament. Lumkoskaya, who's the best setter for this squad, but she's number nine amongst all setters here, uh, or players here. And you also have Tatiana, who's number 10 in terms of digs for the Dominican Republic. Much will be on the shoulders of the 19-year-old Brealyn Martinez, who's the top scorer in this tournament. She has scored the most points for her team in this tournament at 86, and she only trails powerhouses. Sloiches from the Netherlands at 108, Angela Leva from Peru at 104, and Kim Yun Kung, who was at 101, but had a bucket of points in their tough battle against Thailand. For the Dominican Republic, Coach Marcos Quek will also have revenge Vera, who's number 16 in terms of scoring. There's uh, Valdez Vargas, who's one of the best blockers there is. Then there's Hanayri Martinez, the younger sister of Brealyn Martinez. She will also be reliable from that service area. Then you have Marte. Marte is the second best setter in this tournament thus far. And she's really on fire, just like Castillo, who's now the third best digger in this tournament. So this is the story now between Kazakhstan and the Dominican Republic. Both teams here uh, winless so far in this competition, and one of them finally will break into that win column. Let's first honor their countries. Ladies and gentlemen, please wait for the national anthem of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan are developing into one of the major players in Asian volleyball and still consistent participant in their international stage.
this Caribbean nation coming off a bronze medal finish in the 2015 Pan American Games. After winning against Puerto Rico, enters this tournament ranked seventh in the world, but looking for their first win here at this 2016 edition of the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. And their team's average age is 24 years old, as opposed to Kazakhstan, who averages 26.8 years old. For the Dominican Republic and Kazakhstan, an opportunity to break into that win column. But first, let's get to meet our good officials for this game. The first referee is Ms. Miyori Sumie from Japan. We're grateful for our referees Mioi and Budaya, who will uh, make sure that all will fare well in this important match between these two squads. Remember, they don't want to end this tournament winless. That is something that won't fare well for their confidence and future uh, participations in international tournaments. And these two squads uh, cross paths and have done it in the past. As we first get to meet our starters here, you have, of course, starting here is a Yeva, followed by Stanova. Stanova is the best starter here for the Dominican Republic. They now have also Ina German that will start uh, check that it's Lumkoskaya that will start it and then you have um, Beres Neva their team captain starting it and will be joined by Anika Nova of this squad and they will also have um, number 19 Anarbaeva and this squad right here from Kazakhstan is paced by the reliable and veteran coach Shapran Vacheslav. Let's get to meet now the starters for the Dominican Republic where they have Eva Castillo. It's rare to see her on that starting lineup for coach Marcos Quick. They will also have Marte Frica there and also completing that back line. They will have Rivera who's been one of the top scorers, number 16 so far. They'll start with Bayalin Martinez. No surprises there. Mambru will also be starting and to complete that starting unit, um, as I've mentioned, you also have Castillo, one of the best blockers and they are joined also, as I mentioned, Mambru there and Arias, and that will complete the starting unit for the Dominican Republic. Do watch out for Anikonova. She's the number eight best blocker in the tournament. She carries with her a record of eight stuff blocks and averages about 47%. She's up against Rivera, who's number 16 in scoring. She's got 50 points headed into this game. She's number ninth among spikers as well with a 39.82% success rate. And then you also have on the other side, um, Beres Yeva, who's the team captain, who will wait for the service for Lum Lukomskaya, who's 25 years old. Here's the first attack, Eve Castillo, and they chase that down. They'll try to bring it over, and it falls short. And coach Marco Squeck making sure that his rotation will have all bases covered as Eve Mejia Castillo here for the Dominican Republic has uh, a total of eight points coming into this particular match and they still scramble there. The mad dash to bring the ball over won by Beres Neva but that one will be another point by the Dominican Republic. Mambru scoring one from the right front Twenty-four-year-old Ev Castillo to Beres Neva. They'll set it up from that left to Tatko. And Katerina Tatko starts the scoring here for Kazakhstan. Tatko played in the 2015 FIVB Volleyball World Grand Prix where this squad from Kazakhstan finished at 26. She's an absolute great wing spiker and they'll rely on her a lot. And how about that service ace from team captain Radmila Beresneva. This opposite spiker, definitely one of their best players, Beresneva, is number 16 among spikers. 
and you can see the power behind that earlier. Received by Rivera on the other hand. Marte earlier sets up Mambru with a strong finish that echoes through the halls of the Tokyo Gymnasium. Mambru looking pensive as she approaches that service area. The Dominican Republic has made the Olympics twice, ending up tied for ninth place in 2000 and finished tied for fifth in the 2012 edition. Here's the setup. Castillo to Mambru. Good up right there by Beresneva, but that was no control by the side of Tatko. And this young team by the Dominican Republic features 19-year-old Brayalin Martinez and 18-year-old Hinayere Martinez. You have there in front stacked up Arias also waiting for Mambru service. Casilla Mambru, 30-year-old, best server. And you can see that she had a lot of power there. Unfortunately, point will go to the other end for Kazakhstan as they field in Isayeva. Service for Anikonova, and that's why that's just out for Anikonova, unfortunately. And she'll take a quick breather as Kavtorina checks in. This is going to be a heater. They go over from that nice approach by Tatko, burying it deep right there. Nothing that Castillo could do anything about. Let's take a look at that nice setup job right there by Tatko. Finding that open spot. And she's on the line for service. Good job by Castillo. She's the third best digger in this tournament as she watched that ball fall right in front of her. And those blockers, particularly that performance by Stanova, was great for Kazakhstan to tie it at five apiece. Rivera getting ready to attack. And that was an error on the part of those frontliners for Kazakhstan. Lukomskaya calling where they're going to be dropping this serve. It heads over to the side of the Dominican Republic with a point there. After that good reception, good control, and a cross-court kill from Stanova. Quick over by Eve Castillo. Stanova, good job by Castillo. They're libero. And that's a point one here by the Dominican Republic. Marte is the second best setter, averaging 8.25 per set. This 25-year-old best setter in the FIVB World Cup is definitely doing her magic. Rivera able to bump that over. Beres never over to Castillo, but a whistle has been blown as referee Miyoi from Japan giving that point to Kazakhstan. And signals Isayeva Lyudmila, the 26-year-old middle blocker from Club Almaty, on that line to Martinez. They'll set this up from Mambru that dances on the net. Eve Castillo to Marte Frica, back to Mambru with a strong hit from that left front. And that'll be the first technical timeout here with Dominican Republic in front. So you can take a look at how she did that down the line and through Tatko for that point. Y nosotros no podemos nos molestar en el principio del juego porque después se va el juego. Ese equipo ganó el primer set de, de Perú y jugó para y para con, con gente ahí. Entonces, allá en cuatro, 
tem curto bloqueio, um passo para dentro, ele está atacando o cruzado. Quanta bola para a linha até agora? Está passando aqui da central. Se nós só dá um passito, por lo menos, levamos um topar a bola. Tem que estar aqui para a linha. Ah, Ei, vamos! Five attack points for the Dominican Republic coming off that technical timeout. They do pace that statistics over Kazakhstan, who's only trailing by one, who's got also a block and a serve point, uh, and got a point off of opponent errors. Kazakhstan's got to watch out for those errors. They're only already committing a multiple number of errors, but that will fall now on the part of Kazakhstan with another one against Coach Marcos Quick's squad, Ev Castillo. Calling where Rivera will be dropping that. They sent that over earlier to Beres Neva. She tries to chase that down. No need. As you take a look at Beres Neva and then that back set over there, she prepared for that. Would have been a bump over by Rivera. Castillo to Martinez. She. Put in too much heat off that one, and that went wide. Lukomskaya, 25-year-old player from Alte. She's had seven World Cup experiences. She is the most experienced from this squad from Kazakhstan, who's still on that growth curve. They're 21st in the world right now, and they participated in the Olympics in the 2008 edition. They qualified via the WOQT here in Japan, and they finished ninth place there. Watch out for this young squad from the Dominican Republic. Although Ev Castillo committed that error, she'll be trooping to that bench and they'll have Castillo back in service. Arias also preparing for this Beres Neva service, which will go to Martinez's side. Frika to Mambru, good job right there by Kavtorina earlier. Castillo once again to Mambru. So much power behind that hit. We're tied at 10 apiece. Rather, with this hit by Mambru, Dominican Republic now in the driver's seat. Strong hit right there by Mambru. And they're going to be continuing to serve here as they start racking up more points with this attack. Watch how they were able to deliver that one off that block, denying Anikanova of another point. You have Mambru back in the service area. She's the best server in the 2015 Pan American Games, the 2014 Central American and Caribbean Games, best opposite spiker in the 2013 FIVB World Grand Champions Cup. Here comes Kazakhstan, denied there by Arias. She'll clear the front, getting ready for that attack. Rivera there sends it over to the front. Castillo, they go back to Stanova. Rivera puts it up. Marte sets up. Martinez, that was denied right there. But that was just out of play. Martinez scoring anew and swipes it off the blockers as we have now Dominican Republic edging Kazakhstan 13 to 10, and that'll be a timeout. <laughs> Слушайте, ну посмотрите, как можно играть, когда мы им подарки все время делаем. Все время ошибки, а? Ну все время ошибки. Ребят, девчата, давай доведем, а? Давай доведем мяч, а? До пасующего. For Kazakhstan, they have five attack points, a block point, and a serve plus. They scored off of three opponent errors. In terms of attacks, they have Stanova scoring one, and Tatko logging in two, Radmila Beresneva with one, and to complete those five attack points, Anikanova also contributing here. Taking a look at Tatko, she's pacing the team right now with her two attack points. In terms of blocking, they did uh, score one, and that was logged by Stanova. Watch out for this squad from the Dominican Republic. They're starting to catch fire here. 
for the Dominican Republic. They are being paced by Mambru. With this service, what a service that was to Beres Neva and Arias. Puts it down. Arias there, 24-year-old best middle blocker, and she's showing us why. Another great service there, but just wide for Mambru. But they did get good production as Isayeva checks in for Kazakhstan. Anikanova to Rivera. Marte sets up. Arias right there in the middle, wanting to dump it over. Stanova through Mambru's defense. Let's take a look at that stellar dime right there to Stanova off of the edge of Mambru. Ina German and them, happy to see Kazakhstan fighting back. Oh, Marta, the dump set right there. Setter dump scoring there for Marte, who's number two amongst all setters here. Called it for Martinez. They go to Beresneva's area. Stanova once again. And that'll be a point, though, for the Dominican Republic. And this is already our second technical timeout. The Dominican Republic still has that and that hits that antenna and that will now be an opportunity here for the Dominican Republic to continue to edge their Kazakhstan opponent 16 to 12. With the volleyball touching the antenna earlier, it's a point for the Dominican Republic, and Martinez is on the line for service. Brea Lynn is the number four scorer here in this tournament so far. This 19-year-old has 86 points coming into this battle. Stanova, good job by Castillo controlling that. Mambru once again denied this time by Isayeva. The middle blocker doing a great job here, 26 years old. And the future is absolutely bright for the likes of Isayeva, even though they have already let the chances of going to the 2016 Olympic Games slip out of their hands. They still have to think about building up their squad from here on now, and that's what Rivera's doing. She's continuing to build up their team from the side of the Dominican Republic with that point off of the defender. As Binet is checked in for Arias. Binet here, a uh, 24-year-old player from Samana Club in the Dominican Republic, although that one she could not get to that spot right away to try to dig up that attack coming from Lumoskaya. Lukomskaya right here will be replaced. Schenberger coming in. And Tatko also being replaced. In comes Akilova. Akilova, one of those players that you can rely on. That time, though, Akilova had no say. As we take a look at that setup job to Rivera. 
She walks away knowing that she scored that point quickly. Rivera, number ninth among spikers with a 39.82% efficiency. Tatko to Rivera. That's over. Thinking there by Schenberger. Easy for Mambru manning that front line also, though that one sails out. Point for Kazakhstan. Look at the effort of Kavtorina. Marte will set up Rivera there this time on that right wing. She is a menace. Marte, perfect passing right there, taking advantage and away from the arms, steady arms of Perez Neva. Rivera to Perez Neva. A spot they always want to hit this time though. They took advantage of Eva Castillo there as Kazakhstan's Anikanova scores their 16th, still trailing by three with Schenberger in that service area to Martinez on that back left area. She soars high for this attack and she'll give it a shot over to the back row. Over the defenders and even out of reach from Stanova. Nothing that Schenberger will do as Binet is replaced by Arias. Ev Castillo over earlier to Captorina, but that one out of reach for Rivera as they scrambled there. From the back row to try to bring the ball over, not reacting according to plan, but credit Anikonova for that one. Perez Neva to Rivera. Here's Marte to Martinez. That 19-year-old continues to rack up the points here for the Dominican Republic, looking to win this first set against the squad from Kazakhstan. As we have their team captain, De La Cruz, coming in. And the team captain replaces their top setter. How will they do without Marte? Too much heat for Mambru. The Dominican Republic are eyeing their first win at the World Olympic Qualifying Tournament since winning their last three matches at the 2008 edition. And it's been so long. They'll try to do it now with Dominguez on that floor. And she's done a great job of setting up there on that right wing for an attack coming from Martinez. Going through Stanova. And Kazakhstan will call for a timeout as the Dominican Republic needing only three more to win set number one. Coach Chapran having to discuss with the ladies. Просто перебил. Наталья вышла, простой мяч, уже тише не бьют. Но почему не готов? Почему вы не готовы? Я вам сказал, встаньте и повторяйте про себя, хотя бы шепотом. Мяч сейчас меня подпадет. Или я готова? Ну, девочки, что с вами, а? Ну, давайте, давайте, чуть-чуть надо. Два мяча поднять. They're down in the attacks department 10 to 16. And if they're not careful, they're going to be buried deep by the Dominican Republic here in set number one. Though they did get some good numbers from Anikanova, they, she's got three so far. Stanova with two, Tatko with two, but it's Neva with two. They, they're going to need more to put a challenge against Mambru, who's got five. Here's the attack, and that was ill shot there by Stanova. Dropping it on their side of the floor, hoping that she could take advantage of that open area on the left front. Tatko, though, will be coming in, and same with number nine, Lukomskaya, checking back in. They'll be replacing Schenberger and number six, Akilova. 
And let's see if these these ladies will be the answer uh, and will be the adjustment that Coach Chapra needs as Martinez with that service sends it over to Beres Neva. They go again for that other attack, those blockers making it hard, making them scramble right there. Denied the shot of Stanova. And look at De La Cruz making a good account of herself. Team captain will see if they'll be able to complete and win this first set. To Beresneva again, that back left, the favorite spot to drop those blockers up by Beresneva. Hey! And that's just out that Kazakhstan stays alive here. Dominguez sets up Rivera and drops over on the side again of, Kazakh of Dominican Republic and Kazakhstan managing to keep the Dominican Republic at bay and delaying the end of this first set. The Dominican Republic has only won one set. That's why Kazakhstan is ranked higher than them at this juncture. Arias taking care of business right there in the middle. Dominguez to Castillo. They'll set up De La Cruz cross court kill for the finish to put away set number one. And this is already the second set victory in this tournament for the Dominican Republic. They have lost 15. Same with Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, though, has won two sets already. So basically, these two squads still needing to fight the rest of this tournament. But obviously, they need to still group for position heading into the final day which is tomorrow for the World Olympic Qualification Tournament. Coach Marcos Quick, I'm sure that he's not gonna let these girls rest on their laurels. Much, there's so much to still adjust and think about but he's running a better oiled machine here against the squad of Coach Shapran. The Kazakhstan squad right here is uh, um, uh, trailing in the attacks department 18 to 11 dominican republic doing well in that department kazakhstan also needing to put a check on their errors but blocks are good for kazakhstan and they have to also work harder from those digs we talked about the dominican republic and for that first set they had Five points from Breyalin Martinez, five from Mambru, who had a great start. And Rivera also contributed with three important points. Arias with one, and Marte Frica also with one. We'll be seeing more of the Dominican Republic and all their other players. The 19-year-old star doing what she can to give the Dominican Republic a victory. Coach Marco Squick got a huge lift right there from Mambru. Of course, Martinez is one of those that you'll always be able to rely on. And then you have team captain De La Cruz finishing it off strong there. They do still need to put a check on this very dangerous squad from Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan winless in this year's competition coming off a straight set loss to Thailand. They're out of contention of the Olympic Games. They had finished their previous campaign in 2008 with two wins and now 
they could stand winless. They still have one more assignment talking about Kazakhstan after this, and they're up against Italy. That's going to be a tough assignment. But for this squad from the Dominican Republic, who will have Arias back on the floor, tomorrow they will go up against Korea, who just finished a thrilling five-setter against Thailand. Back to that Thai-Korea game. Korea won 25-19, 25-22 in the first two sets. Then Thailand just stepped on that gas, won 29, 27, 26, 24, 15 to 12. Here now, we focus on this important game for the Dominican Republic. They are out of contention, but they do want to go home with a couple of wins here as they try to parry this attack. Marte with that setup there. And I don't even know if that touched um, uh, the fingers of Eve Castillo, but they certainly did enough to send that ball over. And Rivera will troop back to the line for another opportunity for service after the Dominican Republic won that first point here in set number two. They go back to Beres Neva for that service. Tatko. Easy over. Beres Neva had to kneel for that dig. Rivera. To Marte, they'll set up Martinez softly over. Beres Neva this time to that back middle row. Good set right there by Akinova. And that's just wide by team captain Beres Neva. Beres Neva actually is uh, a, a great hitter. Eva Castillo over to where Beres Neva was. They love to hit it to where Beres Neva is. And Tatko hits it down and pounds the ground. And that's through Brealin Martinez and even Eva Castillo just watched it sail after it hit ground there. Marte to Mambru. But it's never over where Mambru was. They go to Martinez. Oh, but that's wide though. As Aniko Nova just let that sail out. There could be a challenge there by the Dominican Republic. Challenge is ball in and out, and as they try to sort things out, you know that teams will keep the right to call another challenge. Oh, that was so close. Good challenge there by the Dominican Republic. And with that, Brelin Martinez cross court shot that gives now the Dominican Republic a 3 2 advantage. Mambru back in that service area for the heater. Too strong. Tatko for service. She's got 30 points here in this tournament. Two of those coming from serves. Here's Mambru. Mambru there catching net in that last instance as she hit the ball. On her way down, a miss hit for the side of the Dominican Republic gives Kazakhstan the lead four to three. Back to Tatko for service. She's got 26 spikes, two blocks, two serves. Make that three now in this tournament. That now is the second good serve for Kazakhstan and scores off that to Rivera earlier to Martinez now. Uh, she tried to do what she can, but Tatko, though, sprawled on that floor, just couldn't get to that ball after that reception by Fendrikova.
and Martinez in that service area. Martinez is absolutely the future of Dominican Republic's volleyball program. She was the MVP and best outside spiker of the 2015 FIVB Under-20 World Championships, the best outside spiker in the FIVB Under-23 in 2015, best scorer and best spiker in the 2014 Under-23 Pan American. And that one will stay on the side of the Dominican Republic, but will be challenged first by Kazakhstan. And here's the reason why. As she was able to slide down there, there's going to be a challenge after that group Sova. And that challenge, the first one on the side. And that hits the back line. And it's a good point here by Rubtsova. And they keep their right to call for another challenge later on. If their claim is correct, which was, and they're given up to a maximum of two unsuccessful challenges per set. That one, another beautiful point there released by Kazakhstan. Getting a lot from Stanova. Right where Martinez is. She's a favorite spot to hit, and Stanova called it right. Castillo there getting in front that time. Fendrikova, they send it over, that attack by Rubsova, returned. Marte will set it up for Rivera, good job by Castillo, controlling that. Rivera once again through the defenders, but well received right there by Kazakhstan. And the team captain scoring one for Team Kazakhstan. Beres Neva getting the better of the Dominican Republic sends us to our first technical timeout with a three-point advantage for Coach Chapran. Kazakhstan's got 15 attack points compared to Dominican Republic's 21. Beresneva scoring a new right there. She uh, has helped this squad with four points so far. Nothing that Marte and the rest of them can do, but they need to recover and come back. She's on the floor here to help Arias, Rivera, Castillo, Martinez, and Mambru. Over on the side of Kazakhstan, you have Tatko there calling the shots. Tatko uh, will be getting ready from the back row. No need, though, as Beresneva was given the opportunity by Rubsova. Rubsova, oh, nice dump set right there. Just couldn't get it down and through. But Rivera from that left front will take care of business. Coming from that strong side, expect a lot from Rivera, who's number nine amongst all spikers with a 39.82% success percentage. Fendrikova earlier with that up, trying to put it down hard, just couldn't get it to stay down by Rupsova. Here's the setup from the back, Stanova. Oh, what authority, what power behind that swing. Nothing that Tatko can do to challenge that attack from the back row. Martinez with authority. Martinez. Will be helping the squad. They're getting ready. But it's Neva to Martinez, though, at that time. Miscommunication between her and Mambru. Here's the service in the area of Rivera. Rivera with that kill. Martinez puts that up. Didn't register to end the rally right there. Here's the setup job quick right there. 
for Kazakhstan as Rivera's ball again returned. They go back to Rivera, having her work hard there, getting into position there, but they let that attack by Anika Nova hit those defenders hard. Let's take a look at how she dealt with that block attempt by Rivera. Though Rivera was the best player in the last game for the Dominican Republic against Japan, those 14 points, she continues to rack them. She's going to go up, though, by just a set over. This time with more power. Good up by Rubsova earlier, Taco, and Beresneva, rather. Oh, yeah, that was Tatko to Martinez. And then Beresneva. Those one two punch, that back row, front row combination for Kazakhstan doing wonders, which is why they're up 11 to 7. And that another ace right there by Rubsova. More than Rupsova, they've also had great service coming from Stanova, Tatko, and Beresneva. Watch out, Dominican Republic. Coach Marcos Quick, appointed as coach of the Dominican Republic in 2008, served as the assistant coach of the Brazilian women's volleyball team prior to that, from 2003 to 2007. His team will need to work harder here in set number two. They did win that first set, but Kazakhstan proving to be tougher this time around. Stanova there, her shot denied, but it just was out of play off the block of Rivera. Rubtsova for service. Rivera there to receive it. Ev Castillo, good job by Rubtsova getting into her spot. And again, Tatko this time. Kazakhstan scores off the blockers. Take a look at what Tatko did here. And Tatko played in the FIVB World Volleyball Grand Prix, and she brings with her her experience. Speaking of experience, here's their team captain. That attack right there, she'll be ready. But it was a last touch off of her after that attack by Mambru. Some serious hitting here now by the Dominican Republic. Marte in that service line. We've talked about Marte extensively. She averages 8.25 per set. And look at that service there by the Dominican Republic. They score their first in this battle off of that set right to where their team captain is from the side of Kazakhstan, Beresneva. Expected to go there. This time it's on to Tatko. That reverse with a strong finish by Anikonova. Look, Omskaya doing a stellar job here with the assist, distributing this for the wave of attacks for Kazakhstan, who's still pacing 15 to 9 now. Mambru to Beresneva. Beresneva will get into position, but that will not be returned as Beresneva scores. As we take a look at another great pass right there by the setter through Marte, through Rivera, and through Brealin Martinez. And it's a 16 to 9 lead for Kazakhstan as we head into our second technical timeout. Kazakhstan looking absolutely confident. <laughs> Yeah, 
Perez Neva has been giving the squad a lift. Perez Neva is a treasure to have for Coach Chapran. She's only played for the national team once prior to coming here, but the, this 32 year old vet who's 185 centimeters tall. Much is needed from her, but that time she just watched that powerful hit by Ev Castillo as it dropped right in between those defenders at the back row. Tatko going at it, but that one just out. And the Dominican Republic only needing five more to tie. They go to Tatko. Here's the setup job there. Couldn't get it through. Marte to Martinez, and they score again. And Coach Chapran says, enough for now. Let's try to freeze it as that Martinez shot over and through the defense of Beres Neva is giving Kazakhs or Dominican Republic a huge lift. You need some precision plays right here for Kazakhstan. You have Tatko. You also have had some great sets right there by, uh, of course, Lukomskaya. That time, though, Tatko and the rest of them not being able to manage that service from Rivera. And the Dominican Republic only coming to within three after that timeout by Coach Chaprat. I'm sure he's not happy with that. Rivera once again sends it over to where Fendrikova was. Beres Neva over to Castillo. Eve Castillo dumps it through. Good dig by Fendrikova. Here comes Tatko, and that's through. Let's take a look at that good dig by Castillo earlier. This has earned her uh, the spot as the third best digger, but you have there a Tatko attack, which gives Kazakhstan a four-point advantage. They serve it over to Rivera. Here comes Mambru. She's playing well. Fendikova tries to handle that. Over now to Anikonova. Here's Mambru again, blocked by Anikonova. They won't be able to get that over as Tatko slid over to the side, hitting the panels. As you take a look at how Mambru has been able to hit that with authority. She is cold as ice. And Dominican Republic here just trailing by three. Service by Ev Castillo again to the team captain of the other side. And Nikonova shot good enough as she buries it way to the back. Marte couldn't put control on that as Castillo, their libero, is back as Anikonova in that service area to Martinez, Marte to Arias. They'll go now to Mambru and a great decision that was by Marte. And Mambru evades those defenders as she was able to fake Zdanova earlier who blocked it over to her right. Dominguez will be checking in here to replace Marte, but she is there for service. Looking for the first point of Martinez, but here's, or here's Martinez right away. She hasn't uh, been as uh, loud, but you know that she's absolutely consistent. That bump pass right there by Dominguez. And Martinez puts it away. 
over Arias. It was over Arias as Stanova and company here continues to stomp their class over the Dominican Republic in this instance. But Akilova and Schenberger will be coming in and they could be uh, the ones that could finish off this particular stretch. Akilova providing fresh legs to replace Tatko. They'll also be replacing Lukomskaya. To Rivera, Dominguez sets it over for Brealin Martinez. And the Dominican Republic only needing two here to tie Kazakhstan. Martinez in the service area. She had a scary fall a couple of days back and she was sprawled all over that floor. But it's good to have her back in fighting form. Dominguez to Martinez. That back row attack hitting net, though. And that'll be a point for Kazakhstan, needing only five more. Martinez asking for a higher one from Dominguez. Stanova. Rivera and Stanova not being able to chase it down. 18 to 20, and Rivera doing work as you also get more. Bennett will be checking in for service. That's key for them, replacing Arias. Here's the heater. Oh, and that's wide. They're going to challenge this. And they do, coming within five seconds. Each team has this electronic team tablet. And after uh, a rally, they only have five seconds to be able to challenge. And here's the officials reviewing this challenge by Kazakhstan. And there was indeed a touch right there off of Rivera. And that touch means Kazakhstan gets to extend this lead continue to extend it at 21-18 now. With Rupsova, their middle blocker, in the service area to Rivera. Dominguez will hit it over, but that's too strong a hit for Binet. Timeout for Coach Marcos Quick. Will they allow for Kazakhstan to win this set over the Dominican Republic? Se puede aún, está bien. Pendiente con el recibo ahora para llevar el recibo bueno para que Camille tenga China, tenga Betty, tenga Priscila las tres jugando. Está las tres pendientes, Ana pendiente con el saque viene duro. Priscila ahí va a buscar el saque ahí donde tú, está bien. Entonces tú, si quieres, prenda el recibo con Ana sola, porque es un saque largo. Let's see how the Dominican Republic squad will react. Martinez Brealin, much is expected from her, but she is on that player's pen with her sister. You have Eve Castillo here. You also have Castillo, the best digger. Dominguez, Rivera, you have De La Cruz there. Rivera will try to put it away. Rubsova, and she's able to do enough damage there. Rubsova targeted and not being able to put that shot up, only trailing by three as Marte and Mambru will be checking back in. Dominguez will be replaced. Same with De La Cruz. A more steady setter. You'll have that from Marte, but Dominguez did a great job earlier also. In the service line, you have Marte. Serves it to Beresneva earlier. They escaped that. Would have been tragic there for the side of Kazakhstan, but that time, 
with Mambru again with her magic touch. Let's see how she's able to do it over Beresneva. Nothing that their libero, Tatiana Fendrikova, could do anything about, and the Dominican Republic just comes within two. Anikonova and Akilova will have some adjustments here that they need to make as they don't want to let this lead slip away. They still leading. They are still leading 22 to 20. Beres Neva. Watch out, they're gonna go for her. Here's Marte on that service area. They go to Beresneva. They'll set her up, send it over. Mambru once again. And so far, she has frustrated those frontliners, Beresneva and Anikonova, not being able to do that. But Fendrikova, though, she put in a lot of effort there, but not enough. They need to get a lot of Akilova as well. Mamru doing a great job. Marte with that service to Fendrikova. Beresneva gets one over with that off-speed shot. And Kazakhstan needing only two, trying to keep the Dominican Republic at bay. Lumkoskaya coming in and Tatko also checking in here to replace Schenberger and Akilova. Tatko, she's got a lot of power hits behind those arms. Lukomskaya with that service. Marte sets up a quick right there, but that one was just out and a set point now after that miss hit by Ev Castillo. But there's gonna be a challenge. Was there a touch? The Dominican Republic hoping to win another set here. Was there a touch? And there was none. There was none. They escaped that, but a good call still by Coach Marcos Quick. But Cope Chapran squad looking at now their first set win. They haven't won a set. Ev Castillo with authority throws it down. Kazakhstan gets their point and this set with that play from Beresneva, the team captain taking matters into her, her own hands and it's a 25 to 22 victory for Kazakhstan here in set number two. Will it go the distance between these two squads? This is after all another meeting they've met on three occasions in the last 10 years. Dominican Republic won it in straight sets in 2008. Uh, at the World Olympic Qualification Tournament, they also beat Kazakhstan in their most recent meeting, but that went the distance, 3-2 at the 2011 World Grand Prix. Kazakhstan last won the 2007 World Grand Prix, also in a five-setter. Will this be another one between the Dominican Republic and Kazakhstan as we take a look at the set statistics there? They tie each other up in attacks. Aces, Kazakhstan has one over, but errors there by the Dominican Republic have and force them to play catch up. But Kazakhstan doing a great job off of those digs. Dominican Republic though, and that block party, they're getting started and they're trying uh, to score off of that as well. Much to do here in this third set. It's gonna be a great one.
Beresneva won set number two with her last play for Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, though, trailing overall in attacks, 28 as opposed to Dominican Republic's 35. But for Kazakhstan, they do they did get Stanova's three attack points, one from Lukomskaya, one from Schenberger, six from Tatko, nine from Beresneva, two from Rubsova, and you also get six from Anikonova on the side now of the Dominican Republic after that stellar showing of Kazakhstan in set number two. They have to deal with the four of Ev Castillo. Four attack points of the 35. Also, they're getting one from Marte Frica, one from Arias, six from Priscilla Rivera. They also have 10 from Mambru, who's been playing great, just right behind Martinez, who's setting the pace here for the Dominican Republic with her 11 attack points. Point. Martinez and the rest of them will have to deal, though, with the blocking prowess of Kazakhstan. They do get one block point from Stanova and uh, uh, two from Isayeva. They serve it over to Rivera. They get Martinez with that attack. Unanswered by Stanova. Candida Arias, the 24-year-old middle blocker, that good service. Watch out for Tatko. Mambru again. But it's never this time more prepared for that one. Tatko, just out of play. Arias back in the service area again, serving it to Beresneva. They send it over through Cavturina, who's the libero on the floor. Good dig right there, Cavturina all the way. Stanova, though. Couldn't control her hit off of that bump pass coming from Cavturina. Although great efforts off of that dig from... Uh, This side, they need to put their game together. Good service there to Beresneva earlier by Arias, and that ball sails off, and the Dominican Republic logs their fourth point. And Coach Chapran says, wait a minute, let's talk things through. A quick timeout called by Kazakhstan after the Dominican Republic has had a 4-0 blast here in set number three. Here's that service by Arias. Always like to send it over to Beresneva. They need to put more control on that Beresneva and them. Uh, really challenged here. That time she gets support from Kaftorina. Arias will try to put it away. They go to Stanova earlier. And this time Tatko getting a good angle off of that hit. Sends it right to the other side for that cross court. Evading Arias for the first point of Kazakhstan here. So good timeout. They tried to send that over, but Rivera's there. Good job by Ev Castillo. Here's Tatko. Oh, ball's still alive. Capturina sends it over. They'll set up Martinez again. Good job by the team captain. Stanova, Mambru there to cover the defenders. Beresneva. Not giving up on that last brilliant rally, but it's Neva finishes it, and now it's two straight points for Kazakhstan. <laughs> but it's Neva with 34 total points heading into this tournament. They block Ev Castillo's attack right there. Castillo to Martinez. Too much heat. That's out. Oh, but. There was a touch. 
Referee Mioi. There will be a challenge here by Coach Chapran. Each point treated like gold, absolutely important. And here's a quick view. There was no touch there. As you can take a look at it again. And good challenge there by Coach Chapran winning this rally again, scoring the third straight. And what a response this has been for Kazakhstan. Marte to Martinez ends the scoring here and the momentum of Kazakhstan with that great play throwing it down in front of Kaptorina. Marte with that service to really they, she couldn't put a handle on that talking about Beresneva and the Dominican Republic will send back Marte Frica gotta watch out for those drops to Beresneva from the service area taco denied there by Martinez As we take a look at Tatko's attempt right there, Martinez hits it and it touches the shoulder of Tatko and that'll be a point for the Dominican Republic scoring in succession as well, three straight. It's been a back and forth seesaw battle between these two squads. Beres never tried to, Tatko tried to put it away, but again, the blockers got the better of her. It's been an arm wrestle between these two squads, and this is now the first technical timeout, though, after Domin uh, Dominican Republic started with a hot scoring 3-0 blast, 4-0 blast even, Kazakhstan able to respond, and now it's, th it's their turn once again to score in succession. Making sure that all parts will be working well. Much is expected of Marte to make sure that she gets everybody going for those waves of attacks needed to put Kazakhstan at bay. The Dominican Republic here will still need to handle Beres Neva. And of course, you have Stanova there. Tatko has been burning those hits. Anikonova there in the front line preparing for the service, they headed over to Sayeva earlier. And now, Kazakhstan has an opportunity here as they score with that great setup there from Lumkoskaya with the finish by Anikonova. Mambru. They'll set up Anikonova there. Stanova, check that. A reverse, but Martinez wasn't in position there to launch an attack. Good dig by Brelin. Rivera from the back row hits the net, and the front line blockers, the defenders there. But good job of Martinez to clear it. And Rivera scores for the Dominican Republic, who's now up 9 to 4. Martinez, that service. Those blockers by Ev Castillo, and she combines also with Mambru, but it was off of Ev Castillo as she denied Stanova's attack there. As Kazakhstan will call for another timeout, the Dominican Republic up ahead by six. Kazakhstan 
Let's see how they'll respond to this challenge given to them by Coach Chapran. As a Dominican Republic, looking confident with a six-point lead, but you know they'll still be careful. Ev Castillo and them calling the shot. That was where Beres Neva was. Rivera gets through the defense and that ball falls in between the blockers and the net. Rivera scoring anew for the Dominican Republic. Martinez again. But it's never there having a tough time. But she's able to put that up, set up her teammates. But an opportunity here again for the side of Beres Neva as that ball just hit wide. That was out of play by Martinez. Kazakhstan needing to work to overcome this six-point deficit. Marte sets it up for Rivera, finding that open spot. Good job by Kaftorina. Marte from, but back there. Stanova to Marte, looking at Castillo and how she'll set up Mambru, and that's down the line. That is actually over to the back line, and they'll score. Ev Castillo to Beres Neva. From the back row, Tatko commanding attention there, needing six more to eradicate this lead. And that's on the line all the way to the back, but Schenberger will be checking in. And also you have Akilova checking in to replace Tatko. Schenberger came in for Lukomskaya. Rivera to Mambru, soft touch over. As number 14, Rubsova, just watched that fall. A miscommunication there. The Dominican Republic here with again Mambru, she's been Contributing big time here, but that's too big a shot, and that's too strong a serve. Kazakhstan has scored 13 off of their opponent's errors. Rivera, and that ball spun around that net as Rivera scores a new here for the Dominican Republic, doubling the output here in set number three of Kazakhstan. Add another one to Rivera, who's got nine attack points so far. A quick right there. Oh, wow. Brelin Martinez all the way to the back. Nothing that Akilova could do as it soared over her. Beresneva will get into position, but a quick hit right there from the middle coming from Anikonova. Anikonova sets it up, though. Here's Schenberger. Rivera keeps it alive for the Dominican Republic. Castillo to Martinez. And that's out. That's just out of play. Coach Marcos Quick having to discuss with the ladies. It's those little things that will count. Here's Martinez above the blockers there. Martinez chases that after it went through the blockers. Easy over. Castillo sends that over. Here's the attempt by Beres Neva. That time Martinez couldn't get to it as it hit the block of Arias. It's 
take a look at how that hit Arias over there. And Beres Neva scores a new, but that one was just wide for that service coming from Schenberger. And this gives the Dominican Republic a lead heading into the second technical timeout, 16 to 9. <laughs> Cerra la mano izquierda, no gira para arriba de Niberta. Le dije que ya he declarado para allá. Párate ahí, adelante de ella, sin peño, sin mover, sin hacer nada con la mano. Eso es parar adelante de ella. Vamos, eh, buen eh, tenemos una buena ventaja, pero ella está sacando duro. Si nosotros flojamos, ella se pega de una vez. Hay que seguir nosotros agresivos en el saque. Siempre que estamos agresivos en el saque, ella está elevando la bola, ya no juega con velocidad nada. Si flojamos el saque, empieza a jugar con velocidad. Esa se va a difícil. Final de cero, vamos a acabar el Coach Marco Squeck of the Dominican Republic, seventh in the world as of October 2015. They were the surprise performers in the 2012 London Olympic by beating the USA in the semifinals, but ended up fifth. They were beat by USA in the semifinals. They ended up fifth, but what a challenge that was against uh, the Americans who were already part of the Olympic schedule. Brealin Martinez, no hopes for the Olympics for these girls, but you can see that this program of the Dominican Republic has a really bright future with these young stars, Arias. That time, that ball went out, and Beresneva will not be denied in that instance. As Kazakhstan will serve with a 10-point advantage they have in that service area, Akelova, Natalia, the 22 or Beresneva. Error after error here on the side of Kazakhstan. In this World Olympic qualifying tournament, you'll get to see it all as teams really try to battle to be one of the top three teams that will end up with Olympic tickets or the top Asian squad. But for these two teams who have still yet to win a game, a match here in this WOQT in Tokyo, uh, there's no more chance of heading to the Olympic Games, but these are important for ranking and this uh, particular game right here where you'll see Tatko checking back in and she'll be joined by Lumkoskaya. It will still be important for them to win to at least not end up at the cellar of the standings at the end of this WOQT. Marte on that floor for service. Tatko sends it over Mambru to Marte and they'll go from the back row attack right there by Rivera. That kill is good. Ten for Kazakhstan. And the Dominican Republic are staring at possibly another set win. They'll need five more points here. Kilova through the defenders. Good job by Rivera. They'll go to Martinez. Softly over Tatko and Anika Nova. No one there behind them to try to recover. Mambru and Martinez having a stellar performance here. Oh, that grazes the net. Good job by Kazakhstan being able to read that well and finish it off with Stanova. She's number 14 in terms of spike with a 35% success rate. Here she is going up out of reach of Eve Castillo. But she'll be replaced here, Stanova in favor of Isayeva. And Isayeva has scored three points off of blocks here. Service to Castillo earlier, Mambru 
tips it over. Tatko forced to spin around to recover and get that shot through. But it's Neva and the rest of them. We'll send it over to Tatko, though. Group for a form that wasn't the best of setups there that we've seen for Tatko. As Binet will be checking in to replace Martinez, specialty of the house for service for Binet. They want to close this off, needing three more. Binet to Beres Neva, they'll set it up, and that middle blocking of Eve Castillo brings them to need only two more points as we take a look at how Eve Castillo denied Rotsova there. Binet again for service, they send it over to Beres Neva, Lumkoskaya, Isayeva, good job by Binet. Castillo sends that over Fendrikova. They'll go to Isayeva. And Isayeva will need to pump up this team right here who are staring at a 23 to 12 disadvantage. And an ill-timed jump serve there by Tatko gives the Dominican Republic the set point for set number three. Ev Castillo at the service area. Isayeva denied that time by Arias. Here she goes again, and Arias once again denies her with Mambru. They now opt for Tatko, and that's going to be wide, and it's a set win here by the Dominican Republic in set number 325 to Kazakhstan's only 12 so far. Their lowest output here in this game, talking about Kazakhstan. And this is a match for the Dominican Republic, needing only one more to log in their first win here at the World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. This is already day six of action. They haven't won in five outings. One of these squads will be breaking into that win column and it could be the Dominican Republic but you know what Kazakhstan is made of they definitely are resilient let's see though what the story was in that last set eight attack points for Kazakhstan not bad just a shade below the Dominican Republic but they need to control their errors that's been the problem and they haven't been able to deny the attackers of the Dominican Republic meantime the Dominican Republic has blocked them out six different times and have uh, has eight di 18 digs in their statistics as well as compared to 11 of Kazakhstan they need to work extra hard talking about Kazakhstan to be able to recover here and perhaps win this game. Kazakhstan will be meeting uh, second-ranked Italy uh, here in their next and last assignment while the Dominican Republic will be meeting Korea also in that uh, uh, part of that top three spot so far after six days of fifth five days of competition.
Kazakhstan hoping to stay alive here in this match against winless Dominican Republic. And coach Shapran hoping that this squad from Kazakhstan, who lost to their Thai opponents in their last timeout, will at least chalk up a win. They still have two opportunities. This is part of those two opportunities to come out of uh, this World Olympic qualifying tournament, not at the bottom. Kazakhstan's last wins in competitive matches came at the 2015 World Grand Prix back in June 2015 where they beat Algeria, Australia and Cuba in successive matches. Meantime for the Dominican Republic, they have now lost six competitive matches in a row. Directly following four successive wins in last year's Norseca Championship. So they also want to be able to come back out. They've been playing better this past week. Brealin, Martinez, Rivera, the rest of them playing much better. But they have also shown some great plays there. Much better in that last set where they limited Kazakhstan to only 12 points. So the first set belonged to the Dominican Republic, 25 to 20. The second set belonged to Kazakhstan, 25 to 22. Now in this third set, 25 to 12, which just finished. And now we're at our fourth set. We're at uh, an hour and about 15 minutes already of action. And you have Rivera at the service area, expected to go to Beres Neva for set number four. Castillo to Marte, quickly over with authority to Arias. When she goes up like that, she is absolutely lethal. She played in the 2012 Under-23 Pan American Cup where she got a gold medal there. She was the best middle blocker in the 2014 Pan American Games as well. But Martinez there. Not being able to control her block and that sails out. Isayeva making a good account of herself since she was set back in this game in, in the latter part of set number three. Beresneva most likely will send it over to Rivera Marte to Mambru. Oh. That rocket like spike so tough to defend. Arias to Beresneva with a quick over there in the middle. Stanova to Rivera. They'll set up Martinez. Good job there by Fandrikova. They bump that over. Marte to Martinez once again. The softer this time. Fandrikova will try to recover. Easy over. Free ball opportunity here. Marte to Martinez again. Oh, but that was mishandled by Martinez in that last attack. And this will give Kazakhstan their second point to tie it. Good effort on Lunkoskaya's part. And Ikonova for service. Free ball opportunity after that reception by Rivera. Stanova to Castillo. Rivera sends it over to the front where Martinez will need to tip it over. Stanova, two bodies on the floor. That was Mambru and Martinez over or through the blocker. Stanova again will try to do it. Mambru with that save. Rivera from the back row. Good job, I bet it's Neva. They need to send that over, and they do. And Ikonova with the steady hands. And that's out. Oh, but that will be. Coach Quick wanting to discuss with his squad right here. That'll be a point for the Dominican Republic. Coach Quick making sure, wanting to make sure that all will fare well as Martes in that service area. And look at the breaks now for Marte and company. The Dominican Republic can 
win this if they continue to serve as well here. But it's never not in the right position as Marte will most likely serve to her. Look at the stack in front of Beres Neva. There was an error on the part of the Dominican Republic and referee Mioyi. The complaints will fall on her deaf ears as she signals for Kazakhstan's Izayeva to serve that to Rivera. Here's Marta and a quick to Eve Castillo. Puts it down hard. That play too quick for Kazakhstan to react on. Out of reach of Castillo from that hit coming from Rutsova. And it was through the defense of Rivera. Martinez couldn't get to it as Kazakhstan only trailing by one. Martinez received the service there. Mambru to Fendrikova. They'll set up from that back row. Left hand hit over there earlier that joust over on the side of Kazakhstan now. Beres Neva showing who's the boss there in that fifth point. And it was from the block of Mambru. To Martinez was that service. Isayeva, free ball here, Castillo, Marte will set it up. Rivera with so much power. Beres Neva grazing and hitting the side of Eve Castillo. And scores off of that as the blockers were on their way down. Beres Neva scores a new putting Kazakhstan in the lead. Good blocking there shown by Rubsova. She'll go up for that hit. Good dig by Castillo. Marte for the back row attack there of Martinez. And they will win this point. And Martinez off of the block of Lukomskaya. Scores anew and Eva Castillo's on the service line to try to break the ice. We're tied at six apiece. Ill time set right there by Lukomskaya. Rubsova couldn't get to it on time, but they'll see. Let's see how they'll recover and pump themselves up as the Dominican Republic. Ev Castillo sets it over, sends it over with that service to Beres Neva. Denied there, but that fall fell on the side of the Dominican Republic after that block. That set up from that left side to Beresneva of Mambru. Rubsova earlier with that service where Martinez was. Watch out for that attack. Good job by Castillo. Marte sends it over that back row dump over. Rubsa Rubsava with that response. Beres Neva, Martin Castillo to set up Martinez there. Beres Neva through the defenders. Castillo will give an opportunity, but that was out of play for Mambru. And this is the first technical timeout with Kazakhstan getting to it first at eight to seven over the Dominican Republic. Coach Chapra needing to discuss, making sure that his squad realizes those little things that they need to adjust to.
отведенное привлекать трудно играть до игровку но мне нравится слышите внимательно мне нравится что вы сейчас работаете вот так и надо работать на площадке давай, давай, надо давай, работать. Давай, Kazakhstan with renewed vigor faces the Dominican Republic here in set number four, hoping to tie it up and force it to a decisive final set. Kazakhstan up eight to seven after that first technical timeout. They'll have Rupsova for service. Over to where Martinez was. Marte sets up Rivera. And those blockers couldn't put a handle on that attack by Rivera. <laughs> Service by Mambru. She really started off well here, and she continues to do so. Great job there for that service but look at her throwing it down that was an Ikonova. as we take a look at how she dropped that through the seams of the defenders serve to Rivera oh no one else touching that that one, but it's Neva's attack tonight. She's gonna go at it again, Arias and Marte doing a great job off of that right front side for them. Marte sets this up. Rivera with that attempt, good up there by Lukomskaya. Isayeva earlier. They'll go to Rivera again, not giving up on Rivera. Hits it with good spin to Fendrikova Tatiana. Fendrikova is number 10 in dig. She couldn't do anything in that last instance against Rivera. And we're seeing the younger Martinez here for the first time, and she will man that front row. Hinaidi and Brea Lynn will be conspiring here to try to put a stop on Beres Neva, but that time out of reach of Hinaidi Martinez as Beres Neva sends it over down the line. Isayeva calling the shots here to Beres Neva's service, though that hit net as Dominican Republic once again ties that with another error from the side of Kazakhstan. The Dominican Republic needing only one more win to end this battle. Hinaire Martinez earlier with that service. They'll go to number four, Stanova, their best option there for their 11th point. Stanova is number 14 and spikes with a 35% success rate. Stanova was the best scorer in their last time out. That time she couldn't put any control with that attack as we take a look at how F. Castillo scores it off of Stanova. As Marte is on that service area, watch out for the spot where Beresneva is. Stanova through the defenders, Marte sets up, Mamru, or rather, that was an absolute great hit by number 16, Peña Isabel, who had just checked in and making it known, make sure that she's announced here with that beautiful cross court. <laughs> to Perez Neva, who couldn't handle that Marte service. Castillo with that dig, Marte. Will that fall on the side? Yes, they do. It falls on the side of Kazakhstan. This is going to be a better one. Peña Isabel back-to-back -back scoring for Peña Isabel here. They needed a fresh option and they got that, but good effort also of Castillo. There's the finish. Castillo is the third best digger. 55 digs going into this ballgame. Averages or match averages 3.44 as we have another timeout. 
Мы все равно прыгаем. Давай попозже едем. Смотрите, они с такой дури, с такой силой. Ну попозже из переносов. И чехол будет, девчонки, а? Два у тебя первых темпа. Посылай их на голову. Coach Chapran discussing with Lukomskaya what they need to do here is Saeva. You also have Stanova ready for action with Beresneva. Martinez with Peña Isabel will man that front with Eve Castillo. Nothing goes through Peña Isabel from Isaeva. Isaeva that time sends it over to Ev Castillo and Peña Isabel did enough with that off-speed shot that was out of reach of Stanova as we take a look at that last second decision, that split second decision there. She went up, tried to cock her arm there, looking like she's gonna hit it hard. And that fake, the defenders there for the Dominican Republic's 14th point. Hey, Marte, still there at the service area to Beresneva. They'll set it up. Stanova got the better of the third best digger in this tournament, Castillo. Stanova, 35% success rate has been the best spiker, was the best scorer in their last game. She had eight points out of 33 attempts there in their last fight against Thailand. It was a losing effort, but Stanova this time wants to win against the Dominican Republic. It could be their first, and that one, they kept going back to Stanova, and she won over Martinez in that last instance. Fendrikova doing great work over here. But Stanova doing enough to really bother that play of Martinez. They'll set up Peña Isabel and she swipes it off of the blockers there of Kazakhstan and they, they tie it at 14 apiece. Rather 15 to 13. Stanova with that block by Ev Castillo couldn't get that ball back. Watch it drop on her side. Oh, let's credit Rivera for that block. Pumping fists in the air, and why not? That's Dominican Republic's 16th point up ahead by three here in the second technical timeout. <laughs> Short huddle there when you're leading this time. You know that things are working well for your squad. Rivera able to score that 16th point off of the block. Challenging Stanova, the top scorer for Kazakhstan. Even though she's the best scorer for Kazakhstan, talking about Stanova, she's only 23rd in terms of scoring in the World Olympic Qualifying Tournament. But this squad right here, Kazakhstan, hoping that they can somehow send it to a decisive fifth set. Let's see how they'll fare now with this attack. Kazakhstan has 45 attack points. They have six from Stanova so far, two from Isayeva and eight from Tatko, but Tatko's not on that floor right now. Stanova wanting to rack up that points. Marte sets it up for Peña Isabel. She's been doing good. They go back to Stanova. Challenge by the defenders, Ev Castillo and Rivera. What a great combination. Good wall that they've put up there. Block City. And Anarbaeva, there's a sighting of Anarbaeva here on the floor. And she's coming in for Rupsova. And maybe perfectly timed, this 32-year-old veteran here could be giving this squad a dose of what they need. Again, the block of Ev, is Ev Castillo and Rivera. Not letting anything penetrate. It's a block party. Block City there by the Dominican Republic pushes them 18 to 13. Here's the back set, Stanova over on the other side. This time dealing better with the blocks of Peña Isabel. And scores off of that right wing and she's on that service area to try to cut down this four point disadvantage. Oh wow! 
Oh, Pena Isabel with a rocket. Strong arms right there by Peña Isabel still keeps the Dominican Republic with high hopes of putting away the pesky squad from Kazakhstan who continues to fight back this time with Anarbaeva leading the charge. And this is how Anarbaeva did it. Evades that defense of Rivera. The block attempt of Rivera and Marte could put that up short short though with that service unfortunately and you'll have Tatiana Fendrikova checking back in on the floor for coach Shapran right when they needed it most Peña Isabel ill-timed with that one is Kazakhstan trailing only by four They've been in dire situations before. Let's see if they can recover for this one. That service to Rivera. Oh, the young Martinez gets one. But Coach Quick, even though they logged in a kill right there out of reach of Stanova. Coach Quick wants to make sure that they stick to the game plan. Rivera to Beresneva. Beresneva will be going up, and that's going to be wide there. Dominican Republic only needing three more to put Kazakhstan away and log in their first victory in this World Olympic qualifying tournament with a timeout, though, by Kazakhstan to try to break this momentum that the Dominican Republic side has built. The Dominican Republic is staring at a 58 attack point statistics that they have accumulated against Kazakhstan's 47. Castillo has been doing really tremendous. She's been doing a great job here. But it's never shot, denied. They'll go over for that right side attack. Good job by Peña Isabel for that dig, Fendrikova. They set up Perez Neva once again, and Marte, that time, will be credited. Martinez, rather. Doing a great job. Rivera for service to Beresneva. Marte for that back row. Good block there by Isayeva. Here's Martinez. Fendrikova to Isayeva. Beresneva sends it over. Castillo to Marte. The younger Martinez had a hand in that, and that'll be a point for Kazakhstan. Will Kazakhstan, though, have enough juice in them to prevent the Dominican Republic from winning this fourth set? Beresneva to Rivera, always a target. They go to the young Martinez. Rivera puts it up. That challenge, though, between Martinez and Anikonova. But the older one puts it away, Brayalin Martinez. Match point for the Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic have lost all of their five previous matches, will not qualify for the Olympic Games, but they are eyeing their first win here, and they could come from this. But a service error by Henairi Martinez. The Dominican Republic, one of the teams we said that people needed to watch out for, didn't get the good breaks, have been playing better as of late. Let's see if they'll put it away with this attack, but that'll be a point for Kazakhstan. Error after error on the side of Coach Marcos Quick. Could Kazakhstan still be able to catch up? 
Martinez soars high. The blocking of Anarbaeva. Martinez once again through Anarbaeva, but good up right there by Erika Nova. They'll go to Stanova! And they are still alive. point for the Dominican Republic. Let's see how they'll handle the pressure now. And Iconova to Peña Isabel. Marte sets it up and that'll be a win with Eve Castillo dropping it down with authority and what a statement. Finally a smile for Coach Marcos Quick and Arias. The rest of them, they played absolutely well. We didn't get to see some of their other stars, but they got the good combinations on the floor. Castillo did a wonderful job there. Rivera, the young Brayalyn Martinez, uh, is still going to be a future star for the squad, but the 19-year-old is definitely one to watch out for. Logging in their first win here for the Dominican Republic against Kazakhstan. And you, you can see it's a three set to one victory here for the Dominican Republic. And they ended up with 59 attack points versus 48 of Kazakhstan. And they got some good performers there in Eva Castillo, who's got and logged in seven points. You have Priscilla Rivera, who logged in 11 points. You also have Mambru with 13. She really did a stellar job. But this woman, Castillo, she was brilliant all throughout. But pacing the attackers, you have Brea Lynn, Elizabeth Martinez with 17 huge points. The blocks also tell the story on how it was tipped on the side of the Dominican Republic. They led in blocks 10 against 4 of Kazakhstan. It was Ev Castillo with four big blocks here. Priscilla Rivera with three blocks. And you have two from Elizabeth uh, Brealin Martinez. And this now is the first victory of the Dominican Republic after losing to Japan in their last timeout. In less than 24 hours, these girls must be exhausted. But they're able to draw up after losing against Japan just last night get a win here in less than 24 hours of play. 15 attack points is what is glaring here as compared to Kazakhstan and that's how the Dominican Republic put away that last set. Though they did trail and digs, it's those big blocks that uh, Ev Castillo has helped with uh, in that last uh, particular set and the girls have absolutely been brilliant in those 10 to four blocks of the Dominican Republic and limited their errors as well. 59 attack points is one that shouts at you with the Dominican Republic finally winning it, but it took four sets to be able to put Kazakhstan away. And Kazakhstan now will be at the bottom of the standings as teams from the other end continue to battle for that slot for the Olympics. This particular tournament here will be sending four teams and slowly we are able to determine who they are. Who will join Brazil, China, Serbia, Russia, Argentina, the USA and Cameroon in the Olympics? None of these two teams, but they definitely played proud and played strong. Kazakhstan though falling short with the Dominican Republic winning it three sets to one. I'm Patricia Hezon. Thanks so much for joining us.